Doctor, you've talked about removing mercury fillings. Do you recommend that? And you've said it's dangerous too. And is there maybe more danger in getting them removed than keeping them in? Or you know, what? How should people look at that? Well, there is danger in getting removed. I do recommend that people not have mercury in their teeth, but I don't recommend that they get them removed carelessly. I don't recommend that they mm -hmm. be placed ever. Um, that you know, on the International Academy of Oral Medicine Toxicology website. We have a paper there about how to remove them carefully. I've got a YouTube video that talks about how to remove them carefully. And the, the, ultimately, if the dentist were following occupational health and safety guidelines for himself and his employee, or herself and her employee, mm -hmm. then they have to apply those same guidelines to the patient as well. And that means there needs to be alternate air so that you're not breathing in the area of your mouth. There needs to be a huge vacuum right next to the tooth so when they go to work on it, the, I mean, if you were smoking a great big cigar, nobody would smell it because there's so much air moving in down that vacuum that nothing's leaving the, leaving the area of the tooth. Mm -hmm. And so huge vacuum and lots of water spray to keep it cold because we just talked about the pizza making it hot. Right. Well, cold water keeps it cold. So you cold water on it, so you cut the filling into two pieces. This is called a work practice. Cut it in two pieces. And now you have two large chunks. Those go into the hazardous container. And then you take all the uh, rubber dam and all that off and flush the mouth out and rinse all the particles and vacuum it all up. And then if you're going to restore the tooth, put another rubber dam back on and go back to work. But that's how you safely remove a mercury filling, by protecting the patient's airway and making sure that the, the particles are removed from the patient's mouth. Okay. I, I've read somewhere, and correct me if this is wrong, but are those are, are mercury fillings, if you have multiple fillings in your mouth, are they charged? And if you take them out in wrong order, that could be hazardous as well? Well, that's, that's the guy that says that is Hal Huggins. Mm -hmm. And uh, that we've actually tried to do it backwards and we can't get the, uh, the mm -hmm. results that show that there's any difference. And as a matter of fact, measuring the charge, all metals in the mouth end up with charges on them. Probably not a good idea. It's probably not a good idea to hold a cell phone against mm -hmm. your head. But measuring them, actually allows them to discharge like a capacitor. And so you'll actually get changes in that voltage. So you know, how are you gonna hang your hat on something that's moving like that? Mm -hmm. the, ultimately, from a toxicological point of view, it's the dose. You know, the charge may indicate that this filling is leaking more mercury than that filling today, but it's not necessarily gonna be the same tomorrow okay. or the next day. Or if you have a gold crown removed or replaced or something like that, you'll change all of that. So I, we, we try to rely upon science and we can't find any good science to support the charge theory, although there's nothing wrong with following it. I mean, you know, if it does have a big negative current, then it's losing a lot of electrons. So yeah, mm -hmm. that might be the one that's leaking the most. There's nothing wrong with doing that one first if you want to. But on the other hand, I wouldn't say because that one has a negative charge, your left ear is going to fall off. We can show <laughs> that women, the more fillings that the woman has, the more of the hearing declines, so mm. they do affect the nerves and the ears.